Okay, continuing on with our Category 6A unshielded direct burial cable, the next termination up is going to be a unshielded punch down Category 6A keystone jack. And this is the most recommended way of terminating Ethernet period, but especially Cat 6A. We're going to need our flush cutters. We're going to need our all-in-one crimp and termination tool just for the stripper portion. And then the most important tool of all is our rapid uh, easy term tool, which flush cuts and seats all the conductors in the keystone all at one time, which is extremely useful. All right, so we're going to go ahead and strip off the cable jacket, remove all the uh, other wraps and get everything prepped up. You're looking to put a nice score on the cable jacket, which we did. Pop it. Keep that piece around. Remove all dielectric wraps. Remove spline. We're prepped up. All right, so if you're terminating to the B sequence, and you can terminate to A if you wish, the B sequence is going to demand that you put the pairs in an orientation that are similar to how the keystone's actually wired to basically make it easier on yourself. So on this side, for the B sequence, you got brown and green. And green is going to be the front pair, the brown will be the rear pair. And in the case of the other side of it, B will be the, the B sequence is orange on the rear pair and blue on the front pair. So as you can see, I've kind of organized the conductors in such a way that they cross over very minimally. And that, that's important because the more conductor crossover you get, the harder it is to get this thing wired up. So what I normally will do, and this is recommended, is take your piece of cable jacket you had and untwist the, the brown and the orange pairs all the way. You don't have to worry about the quarter inch, or sorry, the half inch rule when it comes to this particular operation. So in the case of our keystone, it's solid then striped, so we'll just add a little twist back in, seat the solid conductor. We want to put the cable jacket all the way to the rear of the keystone, like so. So we're going to seat that brown in there first, and then you'll notice that there's solid orange. And so we're going to put that solid orange in next. And now that cable jacket is all the way against the rear of the jack. And that's to minimize crosstalk uh, between your cables. And that's important to do uh, because your cable jacket has a lot to do with performance. And then you can go ahead and seat the rest of the conductors pretty much at your leisure. In the case of the stripe orange pair or stripe orange wire, just simply put that into the slot. And then you're going to do the same thing with the stripe brown. And now when it comes to the two front pairs, you're going to see if they're going to fall into the slots perfectly lined up with, as soon as you untwist it, is you're going to untwist down just far enough that you can get the wires into the slots. Now sometimes that means you may have to go one, un, one more untwist past the actual slot. That's okay to do. Just keep it to one. Ideally, of course, you want to get it so it's perfectly lined up like that, but not all the moons line up right every time. But it's no, it's no big deal to have it just one more untwist past the IDC terminal to get it so the wires go into the slot. Whatever you do, don't knuckle the conductors, attempting to get them as tight as possible because you'll end up altering the, mechan or the uh, electromagnetic balance of the cable. It just happens in this case I got very, very lucky and I didn't have to go a one untwist past. Before you go seating any of the conductors here, you want to be sure that they're actually in the correct sequence. So we got white, blue, blue, white, orange, orange, white, green, green, white, brown, brown. So they are in the correct sequence. Now we can put it into this tool. And this is our tool. There we go. How easy was that? All right, so you make sure all the conductors are seated, and they are. Put your cap on, pop it into your patch panel.
that's it for our unshielded punch down keystone. Alternatively, you may have had to use a punch down tool. This tool is a much better option. So please leave a thumbs up, subscribe to our channel, leave a comment below, let us know what you thought about it. And with that, I'm gonna say happy networking.